so today we are going to discuss a problem based on dynamic programming the problem statement is given an integer you have to find number of ways to fill a 3 cross n board with 2 cross 1 dominoes return the answer modulo 10 is to the power 9 plus 7 uh, we have to return the answer modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 as the answer can be very large so let's understand the problem in detail we have a 3 cross a board like this let's start placing the tiles on the board so what we can do here is we can place we can place 3 2 cross 1 tiles horizontally we can place 3 2 cross 1 tiles horizontally that's the first case and uh, the second case is we can place a 2 cross 1 tile vertically and another 2 cross 1 tile horizontally like this so here we have a we have a top top corner top empty corner and the last case will be we can place a tile horizontally and another tile vertically so here again we have a top we have a bottom empty corner So what we are doing is we are filling the board in a bottom of fashion and we will see that if our board is completely filled till now uh, we'll count it as a n if we have a top empty corner we'll count it as b n and if we have a top we have a bottom empty corner we'll count it as c n so what will be the possible states of last column uh, we can either have our board till now completely filled or we can have uh, a top empty corner or what we can what we can have is we can have a top we can have a bottom empty corner as well so let's assume a n to be the number of ways to completely fill the board b n uh, b n to be the number of ways to fill board with top corner top empty corner and cn to be the number of ways with bottom corner not filled and uh, bn and cn are all the different states but they will uh, have equal answer for same value of n so what we can do is we can compute the answer for bn only and we multiply it by 2 uh, we'll see that later on so now let's try to find the recurrence relation so how can we completely fill our board uh, again we have three possibilities here if our board till now is completely filled then then we'll simply place three two cross one uh, tiles to make it uh, completely filled and if we have a top empty corner we'll place a 2 cross 1 tile horizontally and another 2 cross 1 tile vertically the same holds true for bottom empty corner as well here also we'll place a 2 cross 1 tile vertically and a 2 cross 1 tile horizontally so if we have a completely filled board till now what we will do is we will place 3 2 cross 1 tiles and take the number of ways to fill the board with length n minus 2 and if we have a board with top right empty corner top empty corner I would say then we will place a tile for tile for horizontally and a tile vertically and take the number of ways to fill the board with 
top uh, empty corner as b n minus 1 the same holds true for the board with bottom empty corner and we will take that as c n minus 1 As computing the answer for this one, and this one will give us the same result. So we'll only calculate the answer for b by b n minus one, and multiply it with two. So this is basically the recurrence relation. If our board till now is completely filled. So now come to the case when our board till now has a top empty corner. Here also two cases will uh, arise. One is the uh, port. One is we can place a tile vertically to a board completely filled with length n minus one. And another is we can place three tiles horizontally uh, on a board that has an top empty corner with length n minus 2 so what we have is uh, we'll simply take the number of ways uh, to number of ways to reach till this board and number of ways to till number of ways to reach till this board so this will give us the number of ways to make this board so we have final recursive relations like this a n equals to a n minus 2 plus 2 into b n minus 1 and another this b n equals to a n minus 1 plus b n minus 2 so now let's come to the implementation part we will maintain two arrays on in this particular case we will take a vector We'll take two vectors, dA and dB. dA will contain the number of ways to completely fill the board of length an, and uh, dB will contain the number of ways to reach board of every length n with top empty corner. These are two vectors dA and dB. So let's now talk about the base cases. If we have a three cross uh, zero board, then we'll say we'll have one way to completely fill this board as this board is empty. And if we have a board of, uh, if we have a three cross one board, uh, we cannot completely fill it. So we have zero ways to completely fill it. Uh, so a of 1 equals to 0 now coming to the uh, number of ways in which we can fill the board with top uh, empty corner so if we have a 3 cross 0 if we have an empty board uh, we cannot fill it with top empty corner and if we have a 3 cross 1 board we can fill it with an empty corner so we'll say we have a uh, we have one way to fill this port with an empty corner. So that's what we are doing here. And if we have a board of length zero, we'll return one. And if we have a board of length one, we cannot simply fill it in any case so we'll return zero as number of ways now let's come to the part where we actually fill the board in a bottom of fashion using dynamic programming so we will use these two recurrence relations to, con to compute our answer at each step that's what we are doing here and at each step, we'll uh, 
modulo the answer so that our answer does not overflow while computing at each step and finally we'll return the answer mm, modulo mod we have declared that mod as 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7 so thank you